Everywhere you look in the heart of Joplin, there is damage. House after house destroyed. The high school took a direct hit and patients at St. John's Hospital screamed for help as debris went flying through the hallways. One patient was even blown out of a window. It's gut wrenching. It's it's terrifying. Cars are unrecognizable. A Walmart Supercenter took on major damage and a number of businesses have been destroyed. The National Guard is on the scene. All the houses are flat. Uh, there's piles of rubble out there that I don't think anybody could have lived through. Even late into the afternoon, rescuers pulled a survivor from the rubble. She is screaming at the top of her lungs. A neighbor helped pull one woman to safety. Fire departments from Missouri, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Kansas searched grid by grid looking for more survivors. They believe there are more to be found. Unbelievable. That's, there's not much else you can say to explain it. It's, it's hard to believe. Some victims have seen the images on television and say even that doesn't give you a full sense of how devastating this deadly tornado was. It's just simply amazing. I mean, this is unbelievable. It's, it's like something you see in a movie. And if you're seeing the pictures on TV, to me, they don't do it anywhere near justice. It's uh, to the best way I can describe it is a movie of a nuclear disaster, and it looks like a nuclear bomb was hit. Late in the day, volunteers were everywhere offering help and boosting spirits. Some of them were also victims, but that didn't stop them from lending a helping hand.